Cinema of Poland. The history of cinema in Poland is almost as long as history of cinematography, and it has universal achievements, even though Polish films tend to be less commercially available than films from several other European nations. After World War II, the communist government built an auteur based national cinema, trained hundreds of new directors, and empowered them to make films. Filmmakers like Roman Polanski, Krzysztof Kieślowski, Agnieszka Holland, Andrzej Wida, Andrzej Zuławski, Andrzej Munk, and Jerzy Skolomowski impacted the development of Polish filmmaking. In more recent years, the industry has been producer led with finance being the key to a film being made, and with a large number of independent filmmakers of all genres, Polish productions tend to be more inspired by American film. The first cinema in Poland, then occupied by the Russian Empire, was founded in Łódź in 1899. Several years after the invention of the cinematograph. Initially dubbed Living Pictures Theater, it gained much popularity, and by the end of the next decade, there were cinemas in almost every major town of Poland. Arguably, the first Polish filmmaker was Kazimierz Prosinski, who filmed various short documentaries in Warsaw. His pleograph film camera had been patented before the Lumiere brothers' invention, and he is credited as the author of the earliest surviving Polish documentary titled Slezgoka W. Lazy and Talk skating rink in the royal baths, as well as the first short narrative films Parat Burbanta, Rake's Return Home, and Prisigo de Dorozi Carza, Cabman's Adventure, both created in 1902. Another pioneer of cinema was Boleslav Matyshevsky, who became one of the first filmmakers working for the Lumiere Company, and the official cinematographer of the Russian Tsars in 1897. The earliest surviving feature film, the Antos Pirvsi Raz W. Varshavya, Antos for the first time in Warsaw, was made in 1908 by Antoni Fertner. The date of its premiere, October 22, 1908, is considered the founding date of Polish film industry. Soon Polish artists started experimenting with other genres of cinema. In 1910 Władysław Starewicz made one of the first animated cartoons in the world, and the first to use the stop-motion technique, the Piękna Lukanita, Beautiful Lukanita. By the start of World War I the cinema in Poland was already in full swing with numerous adaptations of major works of Polish literature screened, notably the J.H. Gechu, Mayor Zofawix and Nad Nina. During the World War I the Polish cinema crossed borders. Films made in Warsaw or Vilna were often rebranded with German-language intertitles and shown in Berlin. That was how a young actress Polonegri, born Barbara Apollonia Chalupis, gained fame in Germany and eventually became one of the European superstars of silent film. During the World War II Polish filmmakers in Great Britain created anti-Nazi color film Calling Mr. Smith, 1943, about current Nazi crimes in occupied European about lies of Nazi propaganda. It was one of the first anti-Nazi films in history being both avant-garde and documentary film. In November 1945 the communist government founded the film production and distribution organization Film Polski and put the well-known Polish People's Army filmmaker Alexander Ford in charge. Starting with a few railway carriages full of film equipment taken from the Germans they proceed to train and build the Polish film industry. The FP output was limited, only 13 features were released between 1947 and its dissolution in 1952, concentrating on Polish suffering at the hands of the Nazis. In 1947 Ford moved to help establish the new National Film School in Łódź, where he taught for 20 years. The industry used imported cameras and film stocks. At first Orwo black and white film stock from East Germany and then Eastman color negative stock and Orwo print stocks for rushes and release prints. Poland made its own lighting equipment. Because of the high costs of film stock Polish films were shot with very low shooting ratios, the amount of film stock used in shooting the film to length of the finished film. The equipment and film stock were not the best and budgets were modest but the filmmakers received probably the best training in the world from the Polish film school. Another advantage was that as Film Polski was a state organization filmmakers had access to all Polish institutions and their cooperation in making their film stock film cameras were able to enter almost every aspect of Polish life. The first film produced in Poland following the World War II was Zakazan Piosenki, 1946, directed by Leonard Bachkowski which was seen by 10.8 million people, out of 23,8 total population, in its initial theatrical run. Bachkowski continued to make films regularly until his death in 1967. Other important films of early post-World War II period were The Last Stage, 1948, directed by Wanda Jakubowska, 
who continued to make films until the transition from communism to capitalism in 1989, and Border Street, 1949, directed by Alexander Ford. By the mid-1950s, following the end of Stalinism in Poland, film production was organized into film groups. A film group was a collection of filmmakers, led by an experienced film director and consisting of writers, film directors and production managers. They would write scripts, create budgets, apply for funding off the Ministry of Culture and produce the picture. They would hire actors and crew, and use studios and laboratories controlled by Film Polski. The change in political climate gave rise to the Polish Film School movement, a training ground for some of the icons of the world cinematography, for example, Roman Polanski, Knife in the Water, Rosemary's Baby, Frantic, The Pianist, and Krzysztof Zanussi, a leading director of the so-called Cinemouth Moral Anxiety of the 1970s. Andrzej Wajda's films offer insightful analyses of the universal element of the Polish experience, the struggle to maintain dignity under the most trying circumstances. His films defined several Polish generations. In 2000, Vida was awarded an honorary Oscar for his overall contribution to cinema. Four of his films were nominated for Best Foreign Language Film Award at Academy Awards with five other Polish directors receiving one nomination each, Roman Polanski, Jerzy Kowalerowicz, Jerzy Hoffman, Jerzy Antczak, and Agnieszka Holland. In 2015, Polish filmmaker Paweł Pawlikowski received this award for his film Ida. It is also important to note that during the 80s, the People's Republic of Poland instituted the martial law to vanquish and censor all forms of opposition against the communist rule of the nation, including outlets such as cinema and radio. A notable film to have emerged during this period was Ryszard Bugajski's 1982 film Interrogation, Pertzis Luciani, which depicts the story of an unfortunate woman, played by Christina Janda, who is arrested and tortured by the secret police into confessing a crime she knows nothing about. The anti-communist nature of the film brought about the film's over seven-year ban. In 1989, the ban was repealed after the overthrow of the communist government in Poland, and the film was shown in theaters for the first time later that year. The film is still lauded today for its audacity in depicting the cruelty of the Stalinist regime, as many artists feared persecution during that time. In the 1990s, Krzysztof Kieślowski won a universal acclaim with productions such as Decalogue, made for television. The Double Life of Veronique and the Three Colors Trilogy. Another of the most famous movies in Poland is Krzysztof Krause's The Debt, which became a blockbuster. It showed the brutal reality of Polish capitalism and the growth of poverty. A considerable number of Polish film directors, for example, Agnieszka Holland and Janusz Kaminski, have worked in American studios. Polish animated films, like those by Jan Lenitsa and Zbigniew Oscar, 1983 drew on a long tradition and continued to derive their inspiration from Poland's graphic arts. Other notable Polish film directors include, Tomasz Paginski, Malgorzata Sumowska, Jan Jakub Kolski, Jerzy Kowalerowicz, Stanislaw Baria, and Janusz Saorski. Among prominent annual film festivals taking place in Poland are, Warsaw International Film Festival, Camera Image, International Festival of Independent Cinema Off-Camera, New Horizons Film Festival as well as Gdynia Film Festival and Polish Film Awards. The communist government invested resources into building a sophisticated cinema audience. All the cinema were state-owned and consisted of first-run Premiera Cinema, local cinema and art house cinemas. Tickets were cheap and students and old people received discounts. In the city of Łódź there were 36 cinemas in the 1970s showing films from all over the world. There were the Italian films of Fellini. French comedies, American crime movies such as Don Siegel's Charlie Varick. Films were shown in their original versions with Polish subtitles. Anti-communist and Cold War films were not shown, but a bigger restriction was the cost of some films. There were popular film magazines like Film and Screen, critical magazines such as Kino. This all helped to build a well-informed film audience. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.